Hey guys, welcome to my massive anime collection update for July the 8th, 2013. Now, I do apologize for the long wait. I believe it's been two months since my last update, but I can assure you that you will not be disappointed. So let's start off with the update. So the first thing that I picked up was uh, Tiger and Bunny on Blu-ray. This is collection two. So I have completed uh, Tiger and Bunny. And this is just a fantastic series. I highly recommend it. A lot of action. Um, so I'm just going to show you a lot of the Blu-ray stuff that I picked up. So the next thing that I picked up was Persona 4, the animation. This is the first collection. And I do want to mention that for Persona on Blu-ray, there's only English audio. So if you want the Japanese audio, you'll have to get the DVD version. Uh, that will include uh, Japanese and English audio. Um, so here is Collection 2, and this is Complete. Um, another Blu-ray that I picked up is Kids on the Slope. Uh, it's a fantastic anime series with really great animation. Um, if you like Slice of Life, uh, Romance, then I really highly recommend you check out this series. Um, also picked up Inu Boku. Uh, Secret Service. I just finished watching this actually. It's a uh, it's a decent anime. It's, the animation is really nice, but um, it's just your typical anime. Uh, nothing too special about it. Uh, Dust Maiden of Amnesia. This is a really good anime series. I really enjoy watching this. Um, it's not really that scary. It's more there's some comedy to it as well. Um, I feel though as though it could be longer. Um, anyways, I also picked up the K on movie. And this should complete my K-On! collection. I'm really excited to have this, though I need to really catch up on watching K-On! As you can see there, it's complete. Um, I also picked up Murdoch's Scramble, the second combustion, which is the second movie. And now I'm just waiting for the third movie to come out, and then I will complete my uh, Murdoch's Scramble collection. also picked up One Piece, the movie. I believe this is the eighth movie on Blu-ray really wish they would release more uh, One Piece movie in North America, but this is the only one that's out so far. And I also have Legend of Heroes, Trail of the Skies. I uh, haven't seen this yet. I believe this is um, it's neither a movie or an OVA. It's around 80 minutes. I um, also picked up Colorful, which is a really good movie. It's kind of slow moving, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I would highly recommend you checking it out. Alright, so um, some more movies. Um, this is kind of a double purchase. Graves of the Firefly. I have this on DVD, but I wanted to upgrade it to Blu-ray. So I picked this up. I actually all want to upgrade all of my Studio Ghibli movies on Blu-ray when it's available. So I got uh, My Neighbor Totoro as well. This was just recently released not too long ago. And along with that, they uh, released Howl's Moving Castle which is also another very good movie from Studio Ghibli. And um, I highly recommend you check it out because I really enjoy that movie. All right, so that would be the first shelf moving down. Um, I finally picked this up. I was really delaying this for so long, I don't know why. Uh, I picked up Jubei Chan Season 2 or Jubei Chan 2. This is a Genion release, which comes with a nice collector box to hold the four volumes. And I got this for pretty cheap on right stuff. I think it was only about $20, I don't remember. But I know it was cheap. Um, this next one, I'm gonna try to pronounce it. Hanokoi Mei Team, I think that's how you say it. Uh, another Genion title, this is out of print. Uh, this was kind of pricey, I think I paid about $60 for it. But it's out of print. Okay, so. Um, moving on, this, some, this is something I already showed in my last video. Yuki K's Blu-ray box imported from Japan. And I did mention that there is an English audio option as well as English subtitles. Um, Shakugen no Shana Season 3. I have both parts, so this is complete. And with the Season 3, I have completed my entire sh uh, Shauna's collection, which is awesome. And I also picked up Tenchi Muyo. Um, War on Geminar. I have both collection as well, as you can see there. So this is complete. I have not seen this yet. Um, looks very fan service so I don't know how much I'll like it, but I'm willing to check it out. 
Okay, so uh, moving on to my other shelf here, I picked up Galaxy Express 999. Now I know I heard a lot of bad things about this release. However, I still want to support a physical release. I don't know if Smore Entertainment will release Collection 2, but um, I think this is 40 episode in here. So it's still a lot of episodes. So, you know, it's, it's worth owning regardless. All right, so moving down here, one of my favorite series, Toriko. Um, I picked up the Collection 4, which is the last Collection for now. I don't know if Funimation plans on releasing Collection 5, which I really hope they do. Because um, I really, really enjoy Toriko. It's really, I find it better than One Piece. Sorry if you disagree, but I really like it. Okay, so... Mm, let's see what else I've got. Oh, yes. I picked up Naruto Shibuden Collection 14, which is, I believe, the newest collection that's out at the moment. Um, I've been on top of my uh, Naruto Sh Shibuden and Naruto DVD, so, you know, as, the, as, um, as it comes out, I get it right away. So I'm just waiting for Collection 15. Okay, and... La, 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 la. Oh, yes, and I picked up Sergeant Frog Collection 3. Now, this was out a long time ago. I think it was like out a year ago. I don't know why I waited so long, but uh, I finally picked it up. And I really like how they package this. It's like a thin pack with four thin pack DVDs. I really like the packaging. I wish Funimation would make more packaging like this. So, unfortunately, I think this is all of Sergeant Frog that we're going to get in North America. Okay, so another anime here that is an incomplete release is Yawari. Um, I got this for about, I think, $10 on Right Stuff, so it's pretty cheap. I don't know if it's still available on Right Stuff. Um, I decided to get this because it's 40 episode and it was only $10. Yes, it's not complete, but 40 episode is still a lot of episodes. Um, I... So far, I've only watched, I think, about one or two episodes. It's not what I expected, but, you know, I'm, I'm willing to give it another shot. Because I have good, heard good things about it. Uh, but anyways, uh, classic anime here that I grew up watching. I picked up Digimon Season 2. Now, I already own Digimon. Like, I own the bootleg, but I'm, I want to, as a collector, I like to own official releases. So, um, I'm rebuying Digimon. So that is collection two, and I also picked up, um, or season two, and I also picked up season three, which is Digimon Tamers. I haven't seen this season yet, but I heard that this is the best season out of all the other season. So I'm, will, you know, I'm actually excited to check it out soon. But I want to rewatch everything before I do that. So I have season one, two, and three, as you can see there, and the movie. Uh, something that I imported from the UK, Bakuman. Uh, the reason why I imported this was because, as everybody know, Media Blaster has licensed this series in North America, but they discontinue it. So, you know, I really wanted to own this series, so I imported this. When, you know, when I heard that the UK was going to release it, so very excited to have this. Uh, it is the complete season one, so I believe there's the entire episode up to 26, and I will definitely be getting season two as well when they release that in the UK. Um, another series that I've been holding off for so long is Al Hazard, The Wanderers. Um, I have the original OVA box, as you can see there in the background a while ago, and I wanted to complete the series, but I don't know why I hold off for so long, but I decided to finally pick it all up. So I picked that up, and I also picked Al Hazard, The Alternate World. Uh, this is a Pioneer release, so it is out of print. Or I think it's out of print. No, I got this on Right Stuff. The still have it in stock so if you still want to buy it, it's still available um another journey on release i also picked up licensed by royalty don't know anything about this series i i just picked it up because it was cheap and it's a you know journey on title so it, eventually it will go out of print okay so moving down here um a funimation release um i got the how do you say this? A certain um, scientific 
Ralligan, I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. Um, this is like a spin-off or a prequel to uh, Index. Um, and I also picked up the Rosa Versailles. Uh, this is part one. I absolutely love the artwork in this uh, on this box. Uh, I have watched, I think, a couple of episodes. It's a really good series, though it is only um, Japanese audio with English subtitles. And I tend to like to watch my anime dub. So I haven't finished watching it yet, but, you know, it's a really good series, and I highly recommend it. And I also picked up Kimba the White Lion. This is something that I've always wanted to get. Uh, this is the new release. Um, the old box set costs quite a bit, so I didn't buy it. Um, so I'm glad that they re-released this because I'm, I'm really happy to own this collection and, you know, this nice thin pack box set. Um, I also picked up Get Backers. This is the ADV release. Um, so it comes in a nice chipboard art box with the thin packs. Uh, got it pr pretty cheap too, I think, on right stuff. Um, and I picked up a Boogie Pop Phantom. I um, always wanted to pick this up because I really want to pick up a lot of the limited edition from Naizomi um, before they go out of print because I know they're re-releasing some of the series. Uh, so I picked up that and I picked up Lost Universe, which I believe is a spin-off of The Slayers, which I don't know too much about. I haven't seen it. Um, and I picked up the Irresponsible Captain T Tyler. Um, this is the TV series. And I also picked up the OVA box set as well. Now, I believe they have reduced the price on these box sets, so they're pretty cheap and affordable if you want to get it. Okay, so let's move on to the next shelf. And this is a, I think I got this for only $3, Wild Cards. I don't know anything about it. It kind of looks like a Magical Girl series. I haven't watched it, um, but it was cheap. And, you know, I was like, oh, the cover art looks pretty nice, so, you know, I'll, I'll pick it up. Um, Animal Treasure Island. I believe this is a Hao Miyazaki film before Studio Ghibli was formed. So this is like his early work. Something that I that I like to own because I really like his work. And I picked up the anime version of The Little Mermaid. Uh, this, I believe, is a bootleg. I used to own this on VHS, but um, there's no official release of this movie on DVD. So the only way to have it is to buy the bootleg. And uh, I got this on eBay. I think the seller still has some more copies if you want to buy it. Just look it up. It's really good movie. Um, Blade of the Phantom Master. I bought this, I think it was only 2 or $3 on right stuff. Really cheap. So, you know, it's just to fill up the cart. All right. So this, some people might not consider this anime, but I do because it's co-produced. It's um, half American co-produced with Japanese studios. So to me, this is anime, Thundercat. So I got book or book one and book two. And book three. And unfortunately, this is all that we're going to get from Thundercats. They had discontinued the series, um, which is really a shame because I would have loved to own the entire thing if they decided to make it. But... Who knows, maybe one day they will go back and make it. Pet Shop of Horror, really good series. Uh, it's, it is only four episodes long, though. I really wish there was more because I really enjoy watching it. Um, la, 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 la. I picked up um, Maromatic. This is collection one. And it was pretty cheap as well on right stuff. I also picked up collection two which completes the TV series. And then um, I picked up the OVA set as well. So my entire uh, Maromatic is complete because I just like to complete everything. I don't like to leave anything incomplete. So that is complete. And I also picked up, this is one of the newer releases from Lucky Penny, which is also right stuff. Um, Hayoko, I think that's how you say it. Um, haven't seen it. It was just cheap, so you know I picked it up. I love, I like supporting you know their releases. Uh, Resultante. Excuse me, I can't pronounce this. I'm sorry, but yeah, one of their releases and Blue Flower, which is another one. I believe this is it, like a Yuri series. 
looks pretty good. Um, also picked up Seraptum Call. This is uh, I really like the cover art for this. I think this is one of the main reason why I picked this up. It looks really nice. I have no idea what it is about though. And I also picked up Gagogan Heaven. I believe this is a Yaoi series. Um, I don't know. Look, looks interesting enough, I guess. And I also picked up Madonna. This is um, also by Anime Works. This is out of print, so I got this off on eBay. It was pretty cheap. And moving down here, I picked up Mew Mew Power. Surprisingly, most of you probably don't even know that this is available on DVD. But this is on a, an Australian release. Um, there's no North American release for this, unfortunately. So the only way for you to own it is to import it from Australia or South Africa. But the South Africa DVD are impossible to find. So um, to my knowledge, there's only been two volume release of uh, Mew Mew Power in Australia. All right, so I also picked up the latest Pokemon release, which is Pokemon Black and White Volume 4. And this should complete my Pokemon collection for now because Pokemon is ongoing. Um, but, you know, I'm pretty happy with my collection because I have a lot of Pokemon, all of the Pokemon DVDs. And I also picked up Gundam Unicorn vol or Episode 6 on Blu-ray. Uh, and, and I'm just waiting for Episode 7 to come out. Uh, record of Lotus War. I got this at my local DVD store. It was used cheap, so I picked it up. Princess 9. Uh, I picked this up before Right Stuff announced that they obviously has rescued the series, um, or else I would have waited. Adventure Time. Um, this is not anime, but it's something I really enjoyed watching. I really, really like it. I watched the whole thing already. I really want them to just really hurry up and release season three on Blu-ray because I really want to own it. And finally, I picked up My Little Pony Friendship is Magic season two. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this update video. Thank you so so much for watching, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye.